Welcome back to Josiah Plays Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale. Still trying to make my way back to Master Ayer, fighting through a whole bunch of guys. I'm not going to go over there. Crazed dwarves, huh? We're back to these guys. Alright, we got some cutters. Got another cutter. Got an underboss. See if I can kind of round these guys up a little bit. That worked pretty famously. There's a chest over there. Cool. Some goodies in there. I do like goodies. No question about that. Okay. Barrels to break. Got many barrels to break before I sleep. Still working my way back across this lengthy set of caves. Oh, that was garbage. Huh. Just popped three of them there with one hit and that wasn't even a power. Time to stun you. Lay some daunting light on you. Take you out. Okay. Excellent. Proceeding onward. What's this? Nothing. Okay. Um. Yep, this is the right way. What's this little vestibule? Just, uh. Just a spot with a couple barrels for me. Oh, look, there's some more barrels. This is like where the Dwarven Cooper would be hanging out if, uh. If we had a Dwarven Cooper. Oh, I miss him. Dwarven Cooper, I salute you. <laughs> Real men of genius, Dwarven Cooper. Mr. Dwarven Barrel Maker! We salute you, Mr. Dwarven Barrel Maker. Have I made it back? I made it back. Yes. That was a lengthy journey. Okay, Master Paxson and Master Air here, chilling, friends again. Glad to see the uh, restoration of uh, communion here. All right, Master Air, Paxton explained everything. Garbo's betrayal surprised us all. Yeah, yeah. Well, it didn't actually surprise me at all. In fact, I totally knew it was coming. Here's a reward for your troubles, and you can count on me to find you a way up that tower. Thanks. Words can't describe my gratitude. Garbo is gone, and our mind can rebuild. You truly are the hero of Tethyamar. I've, I've often uh, thought of myself as the hero of Tethyamar, or at least potentially so. Glad I was able to realize my destiny. So I, I, can, I guess I can go home now, huh? Have a beer? Uh, just relax? Retire? No? No? We, you have more, more nonsense for me to do, don't you? Don't you? Okay, so it looks like I have main quest over here. Uh, Master A. Master P's over there with the uh, side quest for me. You know, I'm going to take it. This guy, nothing to say. You're no Dwarven Cooper. You're dead to me, Dwarven Cleric. Dead to me. Uh, oh, who's this guy? Rawl Quartz Bellows is who's got the side quest this time. All right, Rawl. See what you have to say. He should be back by now. Uh-oh, somebody's missing. What's taking him so long? It was an easy task, to gather some of the rare ores found in Daggerdale and return back home. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Sorry, my mind is elsewhere at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm in a bit of a tough spot, actually. Mm -hmm. You see, my brother Rezel should have returned from his errand by now. Mm -hmm. I'm really quite worried about the ore he went to fetch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean I'm worried about Rezel, of course. Uh-oh, we have another shady bastard here. Mm -hmm. I would be terribly grateful if you could go look for Rezel. Mm -hmm. 
I'm very wealthy and can easily pay for your, your efforts. Well, I better go check into this. Spirit Shackles, new quest. Locate Rezel Quartz Bellows. And he's over there. Ah, he's over there where those uh, phantoms were. Okay. Well, we will get on that after we uh, look at our inventory a bit. Dwarven War Axe of Fire, plus one. Iridescent Mace of Blight, plus one. That's rather nice. Crossbow of Horror, plus one. Scarab Shuriken of Blight. Huh. Okay. Shocking hide armor. Brilliant hide armor. Leather Helm of Claimport. Haven't heard of that. Flaming Leather Helm of the Sightless. Ooh, wow. One attack, three fire damage, five percent chance of blind. That's actually just straight up better than what I'm wearing. Because of that blind chance, right? So... I'm afraid I'm going to have to equip it. It doesn't look as cool as my Dwarven Helm, but uh, that's all right. Potions for days. Vitality. See, that restores 60 hit points instead of 30, so that's kind of nice. All right. Let's uh, sell some junk. Sell, 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 sell. So it looks like making money is not really a problem in this game. That's not something you have to uh, worry too much about. Potion of Anti-Venom, looks for the Magi. I'm going to keep that and sell all of these. We'll start stockpiling the better healing potions. Which means I need to take this and assign it to my spot where the other healing potions were. Have anything I want to buy, sir? It would seem that you don't. Other armor of the six, icy heart. Uh, pretty much chainmail or bust on is what I'm saying as far as armor goes. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice amulet though. Now we're getting into some amulets that are no joke, like this one here. It's an upgrade on the defense. Uh, has lightning resist and hit points recovered every seven seconds. I don't really need that being a healer. I mean, yeah, I don't need to spend 2300 gold on that particular necklace. This one's pretty sweet, though, with all those resists. I don't know. I'll stick with what I've got. 8% movement speed's nice. And Okay. Done shopping. Done talking to guys. Back out into the depths. Spirit Shackles is my new quest. Need to go ro locate Rezel Quartz Bellows. He went to get some rare ores. And uh, so we'll go back this way. And uh, hasn't come back. I don't know if this guy's lying about him being his brother or if he really just wants the, the, the ore. Um, either way, though, we're going to go find him. And we better save the game here, just in case. All my bragging about how things have gotten easy is sure to get me killed. Goblin Cutters. Goblin Hexer. Okay. Cool. Moving on. Tearing some guys up. Come here. There you go. I like when he makes that sound. He's like, ah! Sounds kind of dwarven. Um, which I guess is the point. Crazed dwarf. What else we got? You can just follow me for a second, Crazed Dwarf. I'm looking for priority targets here. There really aren't any. Alright, underboss. Nice. 
like the way that played out. That worked good. Goblin sharpshooter. Toast. I daunted him. Daunted him with my light. He looked pretty daunted to me, I gotta say. That was a, that was a very daunted look on his... On his, uh... Little goblin face. I say that as if I could see his face. Yeah, Alright, come on, gather up, kids. <laughs> yeah, those those area effect attacks, if I can get a bunch of guys with them and, and charge them up, those, uh... Those are pretty brutal. There we go, who's this guy? Sharpshooter. Come back here, turn around. Bam! Bring in the pain. Yeah, see that? I don't know why. That didn't, that wasn't the best, but... Just picked up something cool that I can't use. Kind of tiefling bastard sword or something like that. Ooh, I'm about to hit level 6. Look at that. That'll be exciting times, won't it? That'll be a new feat and a new uh, ability score bump, bump, I think. Which will affect my healing, my damage, everything. Alright, crossing this bridge. I'll cross this bridge when I come to it. Which is right now. I only hit one that there, but... I like the way the Curse Chanter just brilliant chainmail of something there. Curse Chanter just kind of pops out of nowhere. I wonder if he's actually got like a stealth mechanic or if he's actually just spawning right then or what. There you go. Dodge this. We'll finish him off with just a couple normal swings. A level up! Good stuff. Leveling up's always fun in any game that has levels. Okay, let's take a look-see. Yes, I got mad points to spend all over the place. Assign wisdom, assign constitution. Yes, I will accept that. We're going to take shielding word every time I healing word myself now. I also get plus two to all defenses, which is great. Um, and two points, uh, we're going to max out bolts of warding. Done. So, see, if I charge this up, it goes up to 31 to 59, you see down in the corner. If I charge this up, it goes up to 31 to 52. So they both do pretty equivalent damage. And lots of it. This is the right way, right? Yeah, here we go. Spirit Shackles, locate Rezzle Quartz Fellows. Uh-oh, we got Goblin Phantoms. Kind of charging up the powers and blasting them with them. Dragonborn greatsword plus two, nice. Dragonborn and tieflings, I've noticed, have been named in a couple of the weapons. And uh, music sound real loud right now, isn't it? I might actually go in here and just what the hell? I had these turned down. Wonder that's weird. It seems like my settings got like reset. Let's make sure that actually took. Yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, save the game. Anyway, Dragonborn and Tieflings are the two kind of iconic new races that are on the face of Fourth Edition D and D, especially Dragonborn. So it's interesting that they're just kind of trying to like get that in there. Surprising that they didn't actually make that one of the playable races for the characters, since that's a, you know, again, visible, iconic, new fourth edition D&D race that they're trying to push out on all the art and you know, constantly Dragonborn, Dragonborn. Uh, you know, they're kind of draconic humanoid guys, obviously. Um, anyway, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Dungeons and Dragons at Daggerdale. When we come back next time, we will finish Spirit Shackles. See you then.